We've been doing a lot of strength testing around here lately to get ready for the run season. Um, what we have been looking at, particularly are quad to hamstring ratio. So how strong is your hamstring in relation to your quad? Now, it's normal to have some discrepancy between the hamstring and the quad. The quad or the hamstring will generate a little bit less force than the quad, but we want those to be as close as possible. And what I've been finding lately with some clients is that they're very different. And so what I wanted to show you in this video is to see if in these hamstring or glute focus exercises, are you sure that you're actually loading those tissues? Because you can easily work the quads a lot more than the hamstrings and quads, I mean the hamstrings and glutes, if you are not loading properly. So what we want to feel is that in our setup for a deadlift, I already feel my quads and hamstrings in the setup. Then I'm simply pushing the floor away, thinking of pulling my heels back, and then I get that hamstring and quad work. So again, here, I'm sitting into it, I'm loading the back of my body. So versus if I come here, I've got my quads. See how my knees bend first? My hips go back to load the back of my body. I sit back into it. I pull that weight back toward me. And then I push the floor away. Try that. 